there is a question being asked across the Michigan countryside. Will late planted corn reach maturity before the first frost? And if it doesn't, is chopping corn for silage rather than harvesting for grain an option? To answer that question, growers need to determine the growth potential in their corn, which is largely determined by heat units known as growing degree days. Well, we've, we've really been blessed with these really exceptionally warm temperatures. You, you get, uh, if you think about it, a growing degree day, it's an average temperature minus the base temperature for corn, which is 50 degrees. We're putting on 25, 26 growing degree days in September, a lot of these days, and, and that is just virtually unheard of for this. So we've really came back a long ways. Uh, so things have accelerated to the point where uh, we'll have to reevaluate here, and that's what we're trying to do now is help folks to look at their corn, figure out what stage it's at, and how many more growing degree days or how many more days it will take for it to get to uh, maturity. Researchers and extension educators at Michigan State University and other land-grant institutions have put together several resources to help growers determine growth potential in their corn. The first one uh, I want to talk about is uh, uh, the automated uh, weather network station that Michigan State University has. It's called EnviroWeather. Uh, you can just Google it uh, and, and find the, the information. It has more than 70 stations throughout the, the, the state where you can go and uh, find the closest uh, station to your field and be able to see where the growing degree day accumulation has been based on the time of planting and where we are currently. And it also estimates the next week's accumulation for, for you. So that's, that's one tool that is really useful. The second tool is uh, what is called U2U, useful to usable tool. It was developed by uh, various universities across the, the Midwest. It again uses the heat accumulation to predict corn development and gives you an estimate of when the black layer is going to happen for your field based on the planting time and your specific location that you can enter by zooming into the, the map or entering GPS coordinates. In addition to utilizing these online tools, Singh recommends scouting fields to get a first-hand look at your corn. For corn grain to be marketable, it needs to have a reasonable chance to reach black layer. All right, so on this curve, we are about the half milk line, as you can see. So close enough for, for silage chopping, right? On this second year, you can see the, the milk line has progressed even further. You can see it's about three quarters done. So it still has ways to go before it gets a black layer. I still don't see the, the, the black layer at the, at the tip of the kernel. If you have uh, livestock to feed and you know that your corn is, is going to be on the edge, if you were uh, back in the early, uh, early dent stage in there, it may be worthwhile to be prepared to chop. If you don't have feed uh, for yourself or your neighbors, uh, then it, it becomes more of a just, well, you don't have an option for it then, so you're going to really try to, try to take it to maturity. We hope that the weather, we've had beautiful weather so far this September, we hope that holds, but uh, you know, we're going to get into October here pretty quick. If we drop back into more normal or below normal temperatures, we will see less, uh, obviously, less growth rate and uh, it will slow the whole process down. So.